Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a PlayStation 1 Classic controller with your Windows machine so you can use the EPSXE emulator and, you know, play PlayStation 1 games. So let me show you the controller first. So I've got the controller. It is a wired controller. And this is just a USB hub that I've got here that I'll plug in, in that I'll plug it into in a second. It's really simple. No drivers required. So to make sure it's working, go to set up USB game controllers. And as you can see, there is nothing here at the moment. Now, if I just plug this into any one of the ports, game controller appears. You probably heard that sound as well. Go to properties. If you click buttons here and you get, you know, flashes, that means it is connected. That means, you know, input is going through, you know, the USB and it is being registered on Windows. And that's it. So let me just actually show you how to map it because, you know, that's important as well. So open up EPSXE. Go to config, game pads. You could configure it for, you know, pad one or two. I'll just do pad one. And because it doesn't have an analog controller, we don't need to do analog. We just stick to digital and you just map it. So it's really simple. And so for triangle, let's click on that. Triangle, circle, X, square. And the one, and the two, I mean, that was R1, R2. Let me switch over. L1, L2, up, left, down. Am I thinking what sound is that? That is just my dog. He's misbehaving a bit today. He just wants some attention, that's all. So I'll click OK. Now, if I go to run, run ISO, Crash Bandicoot bin, and if I press F3, I've just got a load state. I've turned the volume down so I can talk, and as you can see, I can you know, use it. So it's great. I've got like an old school controller, like the, obviously the Xbox controller, the PlayStation 4 controller. You know, they all work great and they're all fine. Some of them require a bit more tweaking than others. But, you know, this is like playing, you know, with the original. So you could end the video right here and you'll be all good to go. I'm just going to play the first level. I've just been doing that with all the set of videos just to, you know, see, you know, what it's like. So let me just get this done. Square me. I wanted him to go to the center or through the center and destroy a bunch of boxes and the next crab as well. Sometimes you risk destroying this, which is annoying, which you do not want at all. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, okay, so let's keep going. We need all the Aku Aku. This makes the the bridge part that will unlock that much easier. Okay, so here we go. Just gonna get the free Aku Akus and time for us to destroy literally everything in our path. There's nothing that can kill us except for, you know, drops like them. And any boxes that are missed, I'll get them on the way back because they're not as important for what we're trying to do as this. Did I get them all? Yes, I believe so. We'll loop back around, get the boxes that we missed. There'll be two here, which is just a separate path anyway, which we couldn't have got until we took this path. There'll be a turtle here. And let me get the boxes. Oh, there's only two. Sometimes I've destroyed all of them and I've been really surprised. Didn't get this one. Usually do get that one and I'm always surprised that I get it. This time I didn't get it. I was honestly expecting to get it. And make sure all the boxes are destroyed. They are. Take the easy route. Actually, we can't go that route anyway because we don't have any slide and jump until the second game. We don't have any, you know, double jump till the third game. So we have to take this route. And yeah, I'm gonna turn the volume up because it's gonna go da da da. Because I've won oh almost fell there. Or uh, when because I will have unlocked all the boxes of the gem. Let's just listen to that.
So there you go. That's it. That's how you connect up your PlayStation Classic controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator and play PlayStation 1 games. If you have any questions about this or any other controllers, no emulation or anything in general, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.